Hello and welcome back. If you're new, I'm Deirdre and today we're in the kitchen making pumpkin pie. And for you guys in North America, you might go, seriously, just go and buy one. For anybody else down under, because I'm, I'm in Australia but I'm a New Zealander, um, you go, pumpkin pie? Now obviously we know about it, but we don't have it in our stores, we don't make it, you can't buy the pie mix, so it has to be done from scratch. So if you think it'll be a bit of fun to see uh, an Australian slash Kiwi trying to make pumpkin pie, then stick around to the end and see if I can actually manage it. And a bit of housekeeping, if you have you know stumbled upon me and you think you might have a bit of fun, well I try to do things that are fun, um, give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because that all plays into the YouTube algorithm that lets YouTube know that hey, you know, we're having some fun over here. So if you'd like to join the tribe, that would be fabulous. Anyway, let's get to it. First step, find a recipe. Second step, make the spice. I know, can't even buy pumpkin pie spice here. Let's get to it. Well, so far I've just Googled best pumpkin pie recipe. And I've got one that looks pretty much like all the rest I've seen. So far, yes, I've got eggs, I've got brown sugar, I've got white sugar, gee, lots of sugar. Uh, salt, I'm going to make up my own pumpkin pie um, spice. I've got some lemon and I've already, um, I've roasted some pumpkin so I've got my two cups of pulp. Um, and I've got evaporated milk. Now because uh, we can't buy pumpkin pie filling here in Australia or I haven't seen it, I just roasted half, a, well, about a quarter of a pumpkin. Hopefully by the time I puree it, it will be two cups. I'm just going to do it in the Nutribullet because I thought that would, the Nutri Ninja, sorry, get it right. I thought that would give it a really nice fine blend like it's going into a smoothie. And there we go, two cups exactly of really well pureed pumpkin. Okay, I'm going to make my pumpkin pie spice. So we start out with four tablespoons of ground cinnamon. four teaspoons of ginger, it's all teaspoons from here on out, three teaspoons of nutmeg, three teaspoons of allspice, and one teaspoon of cloves. Now I'm not hugely fond of cloves, I might do half a teaspoon of cloves. Here we go. Now that is an interesting looking mix. So I'll just give it a good shake. Homemade pumpkin pie spice. Well, that was a major fail. Um, okay, so it just cuts off off. So in here I have two cups of the pumpkin puree with a little bit of lemon zest, four teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice that I made, I've got half a cup of brown sugar, quarter of a cup of white, here come two whole eggs and one yolk, and one can, so it's uh, 100, well, I think it's 375 gram and or um, whatever it is, 12 ounces of evaporated milk, creamy evaporated milk, and I've just put in a little bit of vanilla because everything, uh, and that's real essence of vanilla, not fake anything, so that goes in next. So that's the brown, it's all the seeds of the vanilla going in there. I just want to break up those eggs, actually I'm going to use a whisk. all the goodness off the spatula. I'll need that later. And that goes into the pie crust. Well, that's how it looks before it goes in the oven. Let's see how well it survives the baking process. 220 Celsius and it's fan, so I'll just keep an eye on it to see if I need to turn it down. Well, here we are. Apart from the fact that I put the knife in a little bit um, enthusiastically, 
to see if the center was cooked. Um, it looks okay. It looks sort of all right. It smells amazing. So now I've just got to let it sit there for two hours and then I'll do a taste test. Well, here we go. I think it's still a wee bit warm, so it's still a little bit soft in the middle, but I'm going to try it. I can't wait any longer. And I've just done a little bit of cream because what is any pie without a little bit of pure whipped cream? And if you want to whip just a tiny bit of anything, a, cre a milk frother does it. You know, these things that you whiz up the milk with if you um, want a fluffy, creamy top to your cappuccino. Well, I'm a convert. I think this pumpkin pie lark is all rather yummy. What could I have done better? Um, I could have baked the pastry blind. It was a tiny bit soft on the bottom. But apart from that, it was really yummy. Sorry, my dishwasher's going. <laughs> Strangely enough, my dishwasher is going, honestly. But the kitchen is clean. The pie is ready to be shared and I'm ready for a bit of editing and then get this up for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Come along for the ride and um, yeah, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a lovely time and I will see you in the next one. Bye.